I'm going to be tending to a plant today. This is a plant that I have in the bedroom and it's kind of overgrown itself. I had put this stake in here some time ago and I tied it up with a piece of wire and that worked for a little bit and then it grew some more and that's not working anymore. So I we'll have to do something else. So I'll get this off of here and let's take all of that out. Take this whole thing out. It's not helping us anymore. It's starting to decay anyways. Got a couple of dead leaves on here. We'll take those off. I've had this plant for a long time. It was maybe about that tall when I first got it. It was kind of self-standing. Now it's not freestanding anymore. So I got I got these um, kind of like bamboo kind of sticks. Came with uh, came with this kind of Velcro thing. It came with uh, silica gel. I don't know why it came with that for. And it came with these tire wraps, which I'll use, but not for the plant. I think what I may have to do is either put two of these together if they're not tall enough. And I want to put more so that it's not all all the branches on one. See this this one here. This is about the height it was when I got it and it's self standing and I don't know maybe you're supposed to be pruning this regularly or whatever I don't know but it's it's gone out of control here so I think what I want to do is just kind of take it up like this see the problem is now it's not straight you know it's grown crooked that could be a rotating issue. Maybe I didn't rotate it enough so it grew towards the sun. I don't know. But I think maybe if I tie it up like right there, that should keep it up for a while. I hope. And I'll use this, uh, this Velcro stuff. And they used to have leaves everywhere, and then the leaves all came off. I think I should put it like that to try to correct it to grow up straight again. I'm going to try that. And this, you don't want to put this on too tight, because it's got to be able to, to expand as it grows. But it's got to be tight enough that it stays up. Okay, so I guess I'll just go around and do that for all of them. I'm not sure if it's worth combining these two together. You know what? It may be. It would be better if it was like that. And then as this grows up, it'll kind of fill in. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to uh, double the length on these. So that they're tall enough. Okay, that's what I gotta do. I gotta double the length. So now the question becomes what's the best way to do that? All 
I've got tons of this this wire tie. Maybe I'll just use this wire tie to to tie it together. It's not a heavy plant, so it shouldn't it shouldn't require much effort to keep it together. Yeah, that should be fine, I think. I'll attach this on here and hopefully it'll start growing more straight off to pay attention to rotating it more often so it grows you know because sometimes the plants will, will they'll grow towards the sun and that causes them to get at a flaky angle I don't think that's what happened here I think it just got too tall and fell over alright so I'll do that for all the branches it's going to take some time uh, but that looks much better that way. Okay, that's much better now. Hopefully these stakes last a while. These are painted, so I think they should last. This was not painted, which is why it, it rotted out like that. So I'll just cut it off like right there, and I can use that stake for something else. As this one grows up, I'll tack it up onto one of these, too. Um, my looks pretty good now. So I'll take this back upstairs, and I'll get a picture of it back in its natural habitat. It needs to be watered, too. I didn't realize how dry this was. And this is where it resides, here in the bedroom.